Hey guys, thought I would give you a little uh, spring garden tour as we are planting out our vegetable garden right now. And um, I wanted to start with the entrance here because I've been working on this climbing rose now for a little over a year, maybe two years. And this year it's really looking nice. So it goes all the way up and it's now starting to go over and I'm just thrilled with how that's looking. So anyway, okay, so this is our vegetable garden. So um, I'm gonna start here. This used to be the main entrance, which has now been moved over there, the main sort of walkway, because we are still building a greenhouse over there. Um, but if you turn to the left, um, I've got, this bed is actually growing quite a lot. It's just that things are kind of small. So I've got some uh, bronze fennel and patchouli and some more bronze fennel and some dill over there. Along here, I've got um, arugula that is actually um, bolted because we've had some warm days. And then that's another kind of basil right there. And then over here, I've got some rows of onions, both red and white onions. And then I've got two rows of celery because I really love celery. I have a volunteer wild blackberry that I'm gonna dig up and plant elsewhere. And then in here, I planted some mesclun mix and um, I got a few things. <laughs> I weeded, so hopefully um, the stuff that survived all the horrible weeds that were here will get bigger and I'll harvest it. Um, okay, so if we go along here, and again, I'm still kind of weeding this area and making walkways. These are two pots of potatoes and the vines are really starting to get big and I need to cover them up. And as you cover up the vines, then they just make more roots in those vines and so you get more potatoes. Um, but what's unique about what I've planted this year are these are purple potatoes and I'm absolutely excited. Um, I cannot wait to make like purple french fries or purple mashed potatoes or just, I don't know, it's, it's really exciting. I mean, they are really bright purple. So I can't wait to show off those once I harvest them. Um, okay, if we as we walk up this way, uh, I've got carrots planted in here and they're all starting to come up. And then what we typically do is we make carrot pesto with those. Um, and uh, so we'll wait till those get big enough. And then I have another pot, which I'm probably gonna start some more carrots in. Okay, this is all overgrown and not weeded yet. Um, we're gonna skip over here. This is kind of gonna be my main big area and I really enjoy growing basil and tomatoes and things like that. So I've already planted some basil here and then I have seeded out for marigolds all along the whole edging here. And then I've started to put out my tomato cages to get prepared as I kind of plan the layout of here. And then I have sunflowers planted down there toward the edge. So we'll, we'll make our way down there. In the fall, um, we moved this moon gate and I actually planted um, some seed out for moonflower, which is a pretty um, big vine that's going to grow over this whole thing and then it will get huge flowers that only bloom at night. So I'm really excited about that. Up the walkway here is garlic down both sides and the garlic is growing really well. We planted it in the fall. And then over here, again, I've got cages uh, laid out as I plan the um, tomato garden and I've got a thing of basil there and I'll probably put in some more basil. Um, and then down here, I've already put in some sunflowers where those stakes are, some sunflowers over here. And I have some more sunflowers growing right there along with some greens. Um, back over this way, we have sort of a makeshift trellis where I've got the beginnings of um, sugar snap peas growing and we've had so much rain and they're actually starting to take off and I really need to pull them up and, and get them climbing up the vine. And then on the other side, I sprinkled a bunch of extra seeds I had for radishes um, and I actually am starting to see some popping up. I haven't weeded in here, but this is radish, this is radish. And I get in here and weed, then I'm sure they'll do a lot better. And then I have had a, um, one of my daughter's very close friends has been helping me every Tuesday. And I have to say, for those of you who are interested in having a small farm 
or just having maybe even as little as an acre and really doing a lot of gardening, it really helps to have help. And so my friend Carol comes every Tuesday and she's been bringing um, this young lady with her. And so I gave her a plot to do some things and she actually has planted quite a bit here. She's got cucumber, she's got nasturtium, um, I think she put in some different kinds of basil. And so everything was started from seed. And so I'm starting to see little bits. And then when she comes back next week, we're going to put down a bunch of fertilizer and really do a lot of weeding. And that should be good. Um, over here, I threw some Cosmo seeds and Xenia seeds. And so we'll see what happens with that. Um, back up this way. And again, all these paths, I'm starting to re-mulch them, kind of like the main path got re-mulched. So all my paths will be re-mulched and it'll look a lot nicer. This is a whole row, which we weeded once already, but again, we've had an incredible amount of rain. And so everything is just, the weeds are just going absolutely crazy. But this is my gladiola row. And I, um, there's a whole bunch of them coming up, which is fantastic. I just have to get in here and weed. But um, I, I like to grow an entire row of um, gladiola because they just make beautiful cut flowers. And they have these really beautiful stalks and it adds height to a bouquet and it's really lovely. Um, this whole plot has been seeded for corn, two different kinds of popcorn. And it's actually starting to come up. You can kind of, you can see one here and one there. And now it's time, we're gonna do the three sisters method in this whole area. So now it's time for me to plant some uh, pole beans. And then in a couple more weeks, we will then put in our squash. And so we're gonna do, if you want to look up the three sisters method, that's what we're doing in this whole section here. And we'll be putting some manure down. I wanted to wait until I started to see actual baby corn plants. Then we'll throw down some manure and, and let that go to town. This is asparagus right here. And it looks like this one, got dislodged so I'll have to um, see what I can do about that but I grabbed some asparagus on clearance last year and threw it in the ground or maybe the year before I don't even remember and it's just taken off and I actually grew a bunch more asparagus from seed and I'll be putting that in here and so this will be my asparagus area so we're, we're still working on that um, okay, if you remember last year, this was my cut flower garden. So this year I'm going to do the same thing. I have tilled this area. I did not want to throw a bunch of mulch or manure down because a lot of the flowers that I had here actually reseed themselves. And so I expect that I'm going to see some volunteers from those flowers that I had here already. And um, so I tilled and and then I put down more seed. So I also am going to be growing a vine up this, um, a pole bean um, that makes really pretty orange flowers. And so I just kind of threw it. I had some branches lying around, so I threw those together. And so those will be covered in pole beans that produce orange flowers. Um, and so this over here, I have, well, I just have a bunch of things. I, I I put in some gladiola over here, I put in some nasturtium, and I just sprinkled tons of seed for different kinds of zinnias. I'm pretty excited, actually. Oh, I'm seeing babies. I'm actually seeing baby zinnias. So these are like a green zinnia. It's called green, queen lime and a black cosmos flower. I mean, I'm just thrilled. So this is the area that has not yet been tilled. So I'm gonna be clearing all the rest of this as it dries out. Um, we've just had torrential downpour, so I have to wait till it dries out. I will till this whole area, and then that will be seeded out with all the other um, packets of uh, flowering seeds that I got, um, including wildflower mixes, and oh, we have so many um, corn uh, corn flowers and bachelor buttons. It's going to be amazing. So um, if you recall, I mentioned the greenhouse project. <laughs> um, obviously, we, we got put on hold for a couple reasons. One, it was winter. Two, um, we were missing parts, the directions were very confusing, and it just got to be really overwhelming in addition to the fact that I was sick all winter long and I just could not get out here and do it. So um, we have set a date for a greenhouse raising and I am putting together a crew. So uh, June 8th, I'm gonna have a crew of about a dozen people probably, 
and our other parts are over there. And so there's other parts in the garage. We're going to get it all together and we're going to raise this thing. So I am thrilled about that. Here's our walkway leading to the, what will be the greenhouse. And uh, look at all that garlic. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, my friend Carol uh, bought me this bench for Christmas. So I'm thrilled. I get to come sit here and watch my plants grow. Um, this here is, uh, there's frogs living in it, but this is the rest of the uh, parts for the greenhouse. And then if we go around this way, uh, Madeline likes to have her own little garden, my um, older daughter. And this year she's decided it's gonna be beans. <laughs> beans, she wants to grow like a 15 bean soup. And so this is what she planted. She's planted just literally beans and maybe some marigolds yeah, and that's it. So she is growing lots and lots of beans in this space. And uh, likewise, we have, if we walk around this way, um, this whole plot is all zinnias and I see tons of zinnia babies all coming up. So this whole thing is gonna be beautiful zinnias. Um, we threw down boxes to keep the weeds down. This is herbs, um, chives and rue, which is a very older kind of um, herb here. This is rue and I've got some oregano and um, I'm going to be putting in more dill and cilantro, things like that. This is the herbs. And then this is another space that Madeline has just planted out. More beans, of course. And I think she also seeded for a lot of marigolds to go all the way around it. So I would say give us two more months and this is going to be absolutely covered in bean vines as well as her other garden. So, um, and then the last plot is this one over here. I threw down a bunch of, um, I just kind of sprinkled some greens seeds in here and we've harvested most of it. Um, there's just a few bits left. And then I threw together a trellis and I am currently soaking black eyed peas, which I'm gonna grow up this trellis. And then hopefully these, um, pumpkin vines. I just, I just transplanted them. So they're not looking too happy, but the pumpkin vines will then go through that area. And then I'll probably, as the, as we harvest the greens, I'm going to put a bunch of zucchini in this area. And I'm going to try a new method of growing zucchini this year. I'm going to grow them up a pole, up a post where I am breaking off the leaves on the bottom and letting that vine harden as a way of keeping out vine borers and things like that. So I'm really hoping that that works. So, um, wow, that's a lot. So if we kind of step back, you can kind of get the big picture. It's about 7,000 square feet. A lot of it is pathways, but a lot of it is, um, you know, planted out. So we're pretty happy with how this is going. And if you come by our farm, you will get to eat fresh tomato basil salads which are delicious. I love, love, love having those. And then I'm just going to take a little walk as a final thing. We're gonna take a little walk over to the mama goat and baby goats because who doesn't wanna see baby goats? <laughs> and uh, they're actually about two and a half months old now and uh, getting bigger and just adorable. And let's see here. We're almost there. This is our orchard. I suppose I can show you that too. Someone's mowing next door, so I don't know if you'll be able to hear me. But um, this is our really, we have two very large cherry trees. And as you, as you can see, they are getting ripe. And then I have a black currant bush and a persimmon tree over there. And then I've got two um, apple trees over here. And then there's Miss Bonnie. Hi, Bonnie. And where's your boys? Oh, I see your boys. There they are. Here's Miss Bonnie. And there's her boys hiding, peeking out there. The one on the left is Beckett and the one here on the right is Benjamin. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed that um, garden tour and uh, I'll check back in with you guys in a uh, couple of months and uh, show you how it's growing. Bye-bye.